Hello, my name is Amit and I'm going to show you a few things that you can do with a small inflatable ball. This one that I'm using is the 9 inch ball um, and this is not a proper class, it's just a demonstration. You can obviously look at the exercises and pause and do them properly afterwards. Um, but I'm just going to go from one thing to the next to show you the versatility of the ball. So, I'm going to start lying on my back and place the ball under the pelvis. And I'm just going to do a few pelvic tilts. So the ball allows my pelvis to move through a slightly bigger range than if I didn't have the ball. Tilting back and forward if I take my hands out of the way. Maybe you're going to see a little bit better. The trick is to feel very heavy on the ball to use the elasticity and the lift of the ball to support you. Next I'm going to put the ball between the knees and use it in two ways. One is to help me maintain alignment when I do a pelvic curl or a bridge. It helps maintain alignment because the knees tend to drop out. So just having this ball there will help you keep the legs together. And then I can stay there and use the ball to get the inner thighs working a little bit more just by giving it a gentle squeeze. And as I do that, I want to draw the abdominals deeper in so I don't lose my center. And I'm going to roll back down. Next, I'm going to put the ball between the shoulder blades to support me when I move my breastbone and my chest over the ball and back up. So it looks like a chest lift, the Pilates chest lift, or as they would call it in the gym probably, an abdominal crunch. But actually the emphasis is very, very different. Okay? The emphasis is again on feeling the weight on the ball as you move, as you mobilize your chest, your rib cage, your upper body over the ball. Going backwards, it's nice to breathe in when you do it. And then coming back up. We can add some rotations here. So if I reach the arms forward, that would be one example. And then just by trying to come away from the ball, I really get these obliques to work. So I just come away from the ball. As I do it, of course, I'm going to draw the abdominals deep in. And then coming back, I'm going to skip the other side. Now I'm going to do a partial roll up and again, use the ball to help me get more range that opens up my chest. And then I can circle the arms around and pull myself forward. And I reach back. I still draw my abdominals in to support and stabilize me. And here I can also come a little bit higher. So coming just away from the ball and that gets the abdominals to kick in a little bit more. One more time. Coming forward. Try not to tense the arms, but to use the abdominals to pull you just a little bit more forward. We can use the ball to support the upper body in things like the hundred. So notice that I move down a little bit more. I need more of my back on the ground. I can bring the legs up to wherever you will for the hundreds. You may stretch the legs out. The same thing applies to things like the single leg stretch. Or the double leg stretch. 
or the scissors or hamstring pull. So just using the ball to support you in the position. We're not resting on the ball, but we are supported by the ball. Next thing, I'm going to show you side lying. So the ball can go between the ankles. And this creates some challenge, but it also helps create alignment and stability. We can do leg lifts. Just holding the ball there. And then we can gently squeeze the ball. This is harder than it looks. And we can also do some articulation of the feet using the ball as a guide. Okay, and many more such exercises. I'm going to take the ball and place it under my chest. It might sound a little bit strange on the mic. So you place the ball under your breastbone and you use the ball to create movement in the breastbone, which is quite difficult for most people. Notice how the ball is rolling forward. So I'm not trying to come away from the ball, but I'm actually trying to keep my weight on the ball and push it forward. And by doing that, I'm using the quality of the ball to help me move my spine in a way that I don't normally do or that is difficult to do without the ball. Next, I'm going to simply sit back and use the ball to support the sitting position. This is really good for people who have all kinds of knee issues. Okay, just sitting comfortably on the ball. This can apply to something like the rest position and it can apply to just sitting upright for exercises like chest expansion chest expansion out to the side rotations etc just sitting on the ball and that's it i hope you enjoy the demonstration and hope to see you soon